What's going on guys? This is Bruce Matson, your host of the show of Metric Scout Fantasy Football, a show that looks at all things fantasy from dynasty to redraft and all things in between. Something you're into, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, tell your homies. Today I just want to go over some of the reports that's been coming out of camp for LaVisca Chenault, what I feel about him, how I feel about his future, and if whether or not he'll click with Trevor Lawrence. I've done some videos on LaVisca Chenault in the past. Check them out in the archives. I'll have them linked in the description below. LaVisca Chenault right now has the coaches buzzing over him. They're excited about him. The reports are coming out. They're going to be using him more at wide receiver. And this is all good because he was a creme de la creme prospect coming out of college. Had a bit of an injury history. It caused him to fall a little bit in the draft. He was a second round pick. And he's a great size adjusted athlete. At 6'1", 227 pounds, he can move. And he can move with the ball in his hands. His combine numbers aren't really accurate. If you remember, he's kind of working through hurt at the combine. He was working through some injuries. He's more athletic than what he showed. Last year during his rookie season wasn't bad, even though it was kind of funky. 15% target share, 7.6 average at the target. So the workload was get there, even though he's sharing the workload with Keelan Cole, Chark, and some wonky quarterback play. He averaged 1.55 yards per route ran, which is good because he gets a lot of his targets closer to the line of scrimmage. He's not a deep ball guy. He forced more missed tackles than any wide receiver on the Jaguars last year with 16, which is a pretty big number. Uh, size and size adjusted athleticism is a big component to that. He averaged 5.2 yards after the catch per reception. Right now, he's being valued in Dynasty as the 74th overall player in startup drafts, wide receiver 34. And this is probably about the appropriate range for him. Redraft, he's being drafted around the wide receiver 42, drafted around the 9th, the 10th round right now. It's June, that could spike, that could drop, depending on what happened. But right now, the industry, the community, people playing Dynasty are viewing him as a young speculative asset who has some upside, and they're not overvaluing him. They're not undervaluing him. I think this is the, the right spot for him. If you look at the area where he's being drafted at and you look at the other wide receivers, a lot of them are younger wide receivers that could go either way. That's what LaVisca Chenault is. He's a younger wide receiver. He can go either way. He's paired with Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence is a very exciting get for the Jaguars. One of the best quarterback prospects that we've seen in a very long time. We're talking... Andrew Luck, Peyton Manning type of prospect. A player that can change around this entire franchise. He can completely make this franchise do a 180, make them a contender. And a key piece for him to be able to do that is LaVisca Chenault. Looking at this wide receiver unit, they got DJ Chark, Marvin Jones, who is a new addition. And then Chenault is the main guys. Marvin Jones is expected to be the crafty veteran. He's expected to do Marvin Jones things. DJ Charts is the deep threat. And Chenault has been making the coaches fall in love with him during minicamp. And he's a good player. He's developing. And we probably did not see his best work last year due to him starting the year with code restrictions for everybody in the league. He was injured during the draft process. And he had to miss two games, too. It's just what happens during the rookie season, especially one like in 2020. We're going to see some of these rookies take a bump up in their development going into this year, maybe even next year or midseason. That's something we need to take a look at. LaVisca Chenault is a young wide receiver who is on the rise. Will he be a wide receiver one, wide receiver two for a long time? He's got the potential for that. He's got the quarterback to fuel that. We got a new offensive system here that we got to see what they're about. We noticed some good things from them at Ohio State with Urban Meyer, but we just got to see how this translates to the NFL game. Again, Trevor Lawrence is always a good thing. And the good news coming out of camp about Chenault is really driving things home. He's good at his price point. There may be some other wide receivers or running backs or tight ends you like in that area, but he's a good wide receiver to take a stab at. If anything, he's a player 
that we should have bought, well, I already bought, but we should have bought earlier in the process, maybe a few months ago, last year, when he was cheaper. But right now, the price is starting to get a little higher. You just gotta pick your poison at that point, but Chenault is a player that's on the rise. I wanna thank you for watching the show, sticking along with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. Ring the bell, tell your homies, and I'll catch you next time.